Hi everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Doo Sue. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome any new subscribers and welcome back any returning subscribers. I really do appreciate your support. Today is Friday, it's my non working day. Hooray! <laughs> Paddy thinks that um, I should be doing something with him, mind you. He's pacing around and oh, he's just so bossy. He really is. He kind of tries to rule you if you let him. Anyway, I've told him to go and lie down and be act like a normal dog. <laughs> so, this is going to be the summer envelope, journal, folio kind of thing. Now, I wanted to do each season, because this is the Edith Holden Four Seasons. Um, so, Edith Holden, as you know, is um, the person, the lady, who... Um, kept a diary called The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. Well, she was an Edwardian lady, and I think when it was published, after she died, that's what they called it. So these Edith Holden Four Seasons are taken from The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady, plus Nature Notes um, and a couple of her other books which um, have Edith Holden pictures and writing in, but are not specifically like the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. So it's things like the cookery notes. Um, let me just quickly show you. Hold on. Because I keep mentioning them. And I don't know how many of you have actually seen them. So, um, yes, yeah, so, so it could be a bit confusing because... So there might be a bit of glare from my light, so I apologise. So obviously, so I've got this whole stack of books, so which I've collected over time. So this is the original, The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady, which is now looking a bit sorry for itself because I've, you know, been taking out spring, winter, spring, and, and now I've taken out all the summer pages I want to use. So what's left will be the autumn. But this is this is what it's like. Beautiful writing, beautiful images, which she painted. And this is all her handwriting here. That's beautiful. So that's the original book. Um, and then you've got the nature notes of an Edwardian lady, which has also been published under the name of Edith Holden. And this, this particular copy, it, the paper is different. The writing is lovely in certain places so when you've got your um poems and things but they're all her images i mean look at that i absolutely adore that i really do so these are beautiful absolutely beautiful so i've only just been lucky enough to get this copy of this book it's very musty smelly <laughs> But otherwise, it's in perfect condition. Um, they're not cheap now at the moment because everybody wants them. So I'm kind of using this one sparingly, really, because um, I don't know if I'll ever get another one. I'm just going to have a look at the cover. So the cover is exactly the same as the dust cover. But that's the nature notes for an Edwardian lady. So that's that one. But then you've got the these series of books, which... It says on them, Edith Holden slash Alan Jenkins, um, they're not all the same. I think other people have kind of adopted her style, her pictures, some of her writing, and they've made books. So this one is called The Country Diary Nature Notes. So that can be a bit confusing when you've seen the nature notes from Edwardian Lady. So this one... As you can see, has her lovely colours on the front. Under the dust sheet, the book is a beautiful colour, so it will make a lovely book. Look at these um, plates inside. Um, but this is like almost a planner style book. These are all, so I've cut corners off because every corner and at the top has some of her writing. And then it's just normal type script there for the months to just tell you what's going on in that month um so that's what that one is so that's where i'm getting those little bits of images from so you can see on the corner so that's that one and then you've got this one is really i'm afraid nearly empty but it's called 
the Country Diary Book of Creating a Butterfly Garden, and it's by EJM Warren there. And so underneath you've got just a, um, a copy of what's on the dust sheet. And this is, is does not have really any of her writing, and I'm just going to see if I've got any pages left. So all these are all pages. So there's a typical page of hers which has come out of her country diary book so i've really i have used a lot of these pages that were edith holden's have gone through the book and you know this is all about creating a butterfly garden the types of butterflies so it is very interesting and then you get glimpses of her little um watercolor paintings in amongst it sort of here and then there's another little piece down there. But as, as you can see, I've actually, you know, more or less used it up. So that's the Country Diary Book of Creating a Butterfly Garden by E.J.M. Warren. So because I'm showing you these books, I'm going to have to split this video into two now, I think. OK, this one is the Country Diary Book of Creating a Wildflower Garden. And this is between Anthony Huxley and Jonathan Andrews. Um... Again, that just recreates the dust sheet. Inside is, I again, I've been using this, but this one is how about, you know, about creating garden. But this is an image from the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. This is her writing. This is the image of the wild dog rose. It's one of the famous images. I know this is one of my favourites. This is the yellow iris or flag with the Demacel dragonfly on. So there's quite a few of her images in amongst this, but all the writing is all about um, how to create a garden, really. Again, there's garden layouts. I mean, it's a very interesting book. I mean, this is another image that I love because I love bees, and this is the thistles with bees on. So that's that one. I'll quickly show you that. So this has all been taken apart. <laughs> so that one's creating a wildflower garden. Very interesting for budding gardeners as well. This one is called The Country Diary, Birds of the Countryside. And this is by Roger Lovegrove. Now I love the colour of this. Um, this is a gorgeous book. And it's got this lovely green in again for the uh, end plates. And look, this is one of her images, which I used on the previous video, actually, for the Spring Journal. And again, here, you've got these. So throughout this book, you've got the normal pictures, and then you've got, if every month, you've got that's out of her book, and that writing for July. And then there's all, and this is beautiful, this is the Kingfisher. So, and then you've got your white throat and its nest. So you can see there's an awful lot here, Blackbird, all about the actual birds that she wrote about and all those eggs here for April. So, I mean, this is beautiful. This is a, a male thrush um, feed, feeding on rowan berries, but that's out of her country diary book and look at this i love this one because i love blue tits and the sparrows now sparrows are very hard to find now in the uk certainly down in the southeast we hardly see them they're kind of an endangered species so you know i'd urge anyone to encourage them onto their bird tables and there we have that lovely woodpecker so that's that book and you can see the pages in all of these books are this lovely creamy kind of pale lemony yellow different various ones so there's all this you've seen this one in my winter journal that i've made so that's the birds of the countryside and then i've got the country diary herbal sarah hollis and again this one is again that just matches the dust jacket and this one again is it's all lovely yellow kind of paper but this is just all about herbs and it's not necessarily um edith holden everywhere 
so um, I like some of these pictures because they remind me of kind of medieval drawings and things um, so here and here so that's really probably not so though it's got country diary in it I, I I've only taken out the few things that I found that related to Edith Holden really I don't know if there's anything left in here. Let's have a look. So I thought I'd make a nice... Um, this is like the uh, lovely medieval style writing illuminated script, which I absolutely love. There's a picture that is out of her book, I believe, or it's similar to one. I must have taken out all of the pictures that were to do with Edith Holden but you will find some if you get if you're lucky enough to get this book and these books are a lot cheaper so you know it's worth getting them just to be able to use certainly the book pages are lovely to make pockets and things out of um, but uh, that's one of the images out of her book there so um, so this lady, Sarah Hollis, um, she is a garden writer and, got, and a keen gardener. So um, she's kind of based it around. So all of these images, which were in the book, are all now kind of gone. <laughs> we're all out of the country of the Edwardian lady. So I thought that I'd show you those because I keep referring to them. And I know that some people may not have seen them or known about them. Um, if anyone wants like specific details about any of those books, um, please, you know, you can email me. My email address is in my bio and it's also in usually in the description below. Um, and or you can, you know, find me on Facebook, Sue Reynolds, or you can find me on WhatsApp, same Sue Reynolds. Um you know or you you know just email me or put a comment in in the comments on the video and i will endeavor to get back to you with the details um if you're interested you know most of the books i've got i tend to buy from world books um abe books there are lots of different secondhand book sites websites um and some of them do free shipping to the uk so i assume most of them are overseas, so they're dot coms. So anyone overseas will probably find that they get free shipping anyway. Um, and also eBay is a great place to find them too. eBay and um, there's a site in the UK called Music Magpie. I'm not sure if it's dot com or dot co dot UK where people sell all their unwanted books, their unwanted music CDs their unwanted DVDs for films and things um, and you can sell on there and you can also buy so they do have secondhand books but they also use eBay as a platform um, to sell on so and some of these other secondhand book sites also and also if you go on Amazon you can find the new books but if you look underneath the description kind of underneath the, the initial description of it it will say used and if you click on there often they have used copies too so you know as long as they're not really ragged you know it's if you're just using them for crafting then I would certainly buy a used copy okay I'm just going to stop this video and make that part one and then I'll come back